Hi Brandon, how you doing? Hi Andy Tigger. Hi, Miss Watside, how you doing? Right, so we're going across over into one of my favourite spots. And we'll see what we can find over there. We'll moor up in different places. It's a lovely, flat, calm day today, no wind. Couldn't ask for any better, really, to be honest. Listen to how quiet it is, all you can hear is birds and <laughs> stuff like that, which is lovely. So I'm going to go up to the top end of this corner. I'm going to have a little go here first. So this is where I expect the fish to be. Mm, we've got a tiny bit of wind blowing us um, backwards, but it's certainly nothing to worry about. We're out in the boat. Hi Donna, how you doing? Welcome to the live. And so we'll just have a little cast about, which is what I'm doing now. Let's see if we can connect with a couple of fish. Fishing for big fish today, hopefully plan anyway. Oh, it's a few leaves and stuff on the bottom, we don't want that. I have a torch, the net is in the picture, look. <laughs> awesome fishing, how you doing? Anthony Halifax, how you doing? I'm going to go backwards and get myself into this corner and then we'll sort of drift along a little bit. Right, hopefully. <laughs> we'll drift around quite nicely and find a few fish. That's the plan anyway. It's definitely a good spot for me to be sitting in. Just got to see if we can connect with a few fish now. basically doing is casting the spinner out across here. I'm going to drift into these reeds here and probably hit the bank. I'll either put the mud way out or I'll tie us up to a tree. And hopefully we'll hook up to a few fish. Should still be here.
while now since I've been here. There's a lot of debris on the bottom, which is causing the pain. Getting weed and leaves and all sorts of lovely lure, which I don't want. Well, we're bringing that in and clearing it. I'll show you what I'm fishing with as well. This is what I'm using, my favorite little wobbly lure. Tail waggles in as it comes in. And then I've got a 40 pound hook length trace for the pike's teeth, so we don't get bitten off. And we're fishing out there. Anyone's feel free to drop your links and stuff, anyone new coming in or anyone that don't know the channel and stuff, or other people's channels, feel free to drop your links and we can all share each other's channels. Always good to see new people to watch. I don't know how well you can see, but it's an absolutely lovely calm day. Couldn't ask for any better. Got nice overcast skies, which is ideal for pike fishing. Just got to get a take now. And if you want to see me sort of climbing the rod and stuff like this, or if you'd rather see the surroundings until I hook up, then let me know that. What's this? Am I missing stuff here? Jay Daniels become a member. Oh, thanks very much, Jay. Appreciate that. Thanks very, very much. Cheers, matey. Always great to have a few members on the channel, it always helps. Just get a little bit of extra bait and a little bit of fill, stuff like that, because a lot of people don't know this, but YouTube pays you pretty much nothing. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I get 20, 25 pound a month, which doesn't even cover my fill for two or three trips, really, depending on where I go. Obviously, if I'm doing local like I am now, it's only gonna cost me sort of five pound, but when you're paying for all the baits and stuff as well and the flavorings are used in liquids and ground baits, maggots, sweet corn, you name it, keep losing tackle. I can assure you it comes to a lot more money than that per month. <laughs> a lot more. But yeah, cheers for that Jay, thanks very much. Always nice to pick up some new members. The channel's doing pretty well with getting a few members. I think you're number 12 now Jay, so that's awesome. Nice to know a few people out there. What just helps support the channel. There's all different tiers you can do, from anything from sort of one pound twenty-five a week, or higher if you want to go a little bit higher. And we've got people on sort of a mixture of tiers, and I appreciate anything. I mean, if everyone gave me a penny, I'd be happy. It all helps. Well, I've been fishing, what, 10 minutes, and haven't had a take yet. The last two times we come here, we had a take within 15, so let's see if we can repeat this. I can see a few fish surfacing, not very many, just a few small fish, which means Mr. Pike should be around the area and feeding. So let's hope we can... Um, get a bite and get one in. Got the mat on the floor down in front of me already in the boat just in case I need it. And I've got the net in the picture or on off the front of the boat as you can see. Got me unhooking forceps and stuff like that. So I shouldn't really need much else. <laughs> All I need now is to get a bite. I think what I'll do for just for a minute I'm gonna face your background that way. 
Christian Dorset, how you doing? Shane? Hi Patch, how you doing? Welcome to the live. Hi Mick, how you doing mate? Hi Barry, how you doing? Hi Robert, Andy Tigger. Hopefully I ain't missed anyone. <laughs> I'm just trying to sort of hook up and get a fish. In the first half an hour would be nice. I know I'm not going to always be able to do that, but you've got to try, haven't you? <laughs> so I'll just give you a view of where I'm casting to at the moment. Show at me if that's not level and stuff, because it's hard to keep the horizon and stuff level in the boat. <laughs> I'll do my best, as I always do. And we've just got to find out where these fish are now. I'm sort of drifting, I'm sort of sitting on top of really where the best areas are, so I'm going to have to cast around myself and just keep trying. If not, we'll move down the river a bit. Either way, we'll, we'll try and find some. I know the areas where I normally see a few fish crashing out and stuff and taking the smaller fish feeding and I've caught in them areas before, so we'll see how it goes. Hi Leon mate, how you doing? Hi Malk, how you doing? Trying to get myself sort of sort of comfortable. Yeah, hopefully Mick will, will get you a nice fish. I'll do my best. Put it that way. I always do my best when I'm out fishing and you know going live for everyone. We're starting to drift a bit now. We might have to spin us back round. Tiny bit of wind. So hopefully we'll we'll hook up fairly soon. So I don't know if you want that view. Yeah, I'm not too bad, Leon. Hope you're good. Put you around this side, I can show you a little bit of what I'm doing. The trouble is I need to keep the rod low to keep the lure at mid-water. I can't like fish like that so you can see everything. Because that will then pull the lure right to the surface. Which I don't really want to do. I'll have a cast like that and just see what it does. But I think that will just pull the lure to the surface, which we, we don't really want on the surface. We want it just off the bottom. I'll have a couple of casts like that just to try it. So, so I don't normally do that, so you never know, it might be good. I don't feel that confident like that, I'll see anything. Well, I'm always up for trying stuff. But normally I like to cast out like that. Count, I don't know, four or five seconds, let it hit the bottom. One little pull up, rod tip just above the water, and reel in smoothly. Bit of a pain, because it's literally spinning the boat round as I'm reeling in today. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Second marine for Stephen, nice one. How you doing, Roger? How you doing, Beverly? Fair 
fortnight fishing, we're literally just starting. We've had a couple of casts, but nothing too crazy yet. Once I find out where I can get a few takes, then I'll, I should hook up and get us a fish. Just trying all around the area. takes a long way at the moment. I would have expected a take, to be honest, along, along that side. So what we'll do is we'll go back into here a bit. Let's have a little go in this area. See if we can get something happening. I'm trying to sort of keep up with the chat as much as I can as well, as show you what I'm doing. It's, it's hard in the boat. <laughs> what was that? Ooh, I might add a little take in actually. I thought it was weed, but there's no weed on there, so that could have been a tiny take then, a little jack. Let's keep trying. Hi Tony, how you doing mate? Just trying to find a few fish at the moment. It's a lovely day for it. Whoa, let's move over a bit, shall we? Yeah, it's definitely a lovely day for it. Trouble is the swivel head on my thing, I can't, I can't turn it. Andy Biddle, how you doing? Haven't seen you for a while. Hope you're all good. Hopefully the pipe get moved from around there. noise you can hear in the background is someone cutting the grass. So, don't know where they are. <laughs> there must be some houses over the back there. Nothing I knew anything about. And so do you want me to keep it facing like this so I can talk to you and fish or do you want me to turn around so you can just watch the scenery until hopefully I hook up? <laughs> Hi Jill, how you doing? It's not cold, I'm not cold at all to be honest, it's actually quite nice. Look at this lovely still calm water. Couldn't ask for anything better, it's lovely. Hi Big Dan, how you doing mate? Hi Sky, how you doing? Yeah, Stephen's doing well. I was watching, and I will watch the end of uh, the other half of it later on when I get in. But I fancy getting out on the after the pike again. I've been waiting to do it sort of the last couple of days, waiting for a clear spot in the weather and the wind and stuff. And this is the afternoon where I got the clear spot, so I had to go out. I've got work stuff to do as well, so I'll be over the unit tonight. 
doing a few bits and pieces as usual. Got some videos coming out from over the unit this week as well, part four and part five of the cars. Oh, we've been out 20 minutes. We've probably been fishing 15. And we ain't had a fish yet. That's not good. <laughs> Normally hear us. But I had a fish by now. And it doesn't mean they ain't moved. It just means in case I've got to find them again. Which is not a problem. And what we'll do got a little setting down the bottom here where I bore up on a tree and head down to that, whack a boat up onto that and we'll cast this way and see what we can do this way. I would have thought I'd have had a take, to be honest. They can't always be there. <laughs> Spin you around. So that's what I like to see, everyone subbing to each other, helping each other's channels out. It's always good. Only trouble is, if I more up on that tree like I want to, I'm going to be facing the wrong way. <laughs> it's looking like the tide's pretty low at the moment. spot where I normally just launch a boat into it and it gets caught up normally. Which I don't mind. Oh, it's pretty clear in here. There we go. And what I'll have to do is spin myself around. I'm normally sitting the other way. <laughs> everyone else around so you can see what's going on. Right, we should. <laughs> it's been a pain here. Hang on a sec, just let me get more water to go into a tree. Just tie myself up. It ain't much good if I keep flying away the thing. down I'm covered in muck now. <laughs> All the moss off the tree. Nope, we're still moving. Even though we're tied to the tree. Hang on. Hopefully we'll stay there. Maybe we'll just kind of go right on the front end of the back of the boat because we can't do that. Hopefully you can see where I'm going to pass out to. Maybe we'll look at fish. <laughs> Not hopefully there. So. Let's see what we can do. Weed is being a right pain today. There's no point casting out with weed on the 
Look, if they ain't gonna touch it. Fish don't swim around with weed on them. <laughs> Sorry if that's not the best to do, but that's sort of the best I can do right this second. But hopefully you're seeing what I'm doing. I'm casting sort of straight down from where you're looking. Across that way. Hoping for a take. I think it's normally when I fish these areas, that's a bit later in the day. I'm gonna get the bites, but doesn't mean I won't find any. Just gotta keep plugging away. <laughs> Oh, we had a take in. Oh, <laughs> that's a shame. Pretty sure that was a take. There's no weed on the lure or anything, so I think we had a follow and a little take then. It just didn't quite take it properly. Oh, <laughs> that's annoying. We would have done it in the first half an hour again. through the spot because if there's one down there taken that will keep looking. If that sees it again that should take it again. Come on, Mr. or Mrs. Pike, where are you? We want a little nibble take, we want a proper take. Let me smash out that and the rod flies around. But we'll come back over and look at the chat and stuff in a little bit once we come out of the swim again. And we did actually get weeds that time. I'm just trying to get you all a fish. And myself as well, obviously, but... <laughs> a lot of duck activity and stuff over in the far corner. anyone who's coming to chat on. Oh, I can't see at the moment. Come on fishies. Then, but keep going along. Mm -hmm. We got weed on again. We're getting all this weed last week. going on. Oh, let's pull it off 
plug in the water a bit. Stay off the bottom. Coming a bit faster. Sorry about the noise in the background. Someone's cutting trees for the sound of it. It's a pain. Right next to where I'm trying to fish. Alright, I'm going to have a couple more casts and then we're going to move on again. I think we definitely need to move away from this chap cutting trees down. Make it far too much noise. <laughs> Want a nice peaceful afternoon out, not all that noise. Probably didn't help with the fishing to be honest. Alright, let's get out of here because I'm not bothered with that. <laughs> Head up this way. See what we got going on. What do you want to start doing? What do you want tips for? It's so, alright Shane, if someone's looking for tips, no problem. Mr Bond, what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, that was loose. What am I missing? I'm doing it on purpose, what am I? <laughs> Oh, right, okay. I've got you. Yeah, it's a bit noise, isn't it? Cutting trees down. Which is probably scaring the fish. Because it's right next to the bank. But we're still going to try, and if not, we'll just move down river. I'm going to go off up here into the... Sort of around the corner here. There's lots of little spots I'm going to troll through here as we go through.
strange really because the spot I'm in right this second is the spot really. This is where I normally catch. I'm going to slow down to speed one and just troll through here gently. Just in case that gives us a bite as we go through. No idea what this, what Michael S is talking about. Normally, where I am now, this is the spot. It's crazy. I'm gonna wait. What happened on, man? That long caught in my own boots. <laughs> Great. a little flick round just to make sure I can't hook up as I go through and then I'm going to work my way around the corner and we'll have a little go down there. I want to say normally to my spot this is where I'd get a fish. I'm not taking it right now. <laughs> this is definitely the, the best spot on the safe. And even if there's a really big fish in there, like I had before, I can normally get a few jacks. Well, I've had a take, don't get me wrong, but I haven't had a proper hookup. In the wind. <laughs> Spin you around because there's a boat coming down behind me. You can probably see. Plus, I'm having a few casts like this anyway. I'm getting a few people pulling up in the car park and stuff and just. Sitting and watching what I'm doing, see if I'm hooking up. Quite normal for around here. I do the same sometimes when I'm out in the car and not fishing. So it's not a problem. Be good if we could actually hook one up. Stephen P, how you doing? I see you popping in there. No, it's definitely, definitely quiet. Which is very unusual. My experience of coming here twice anyway. <laughs> got someone cutting the grass further up, not that end, I've got them cutting trees down that end. Can't get no peace. <laughs> I think what I might do is actually disappear down the river a bit. And um 
Yeah, hopefully they won't be here later on and we'll come back up here later on when it's quiet down a bit, I think. It's not really doing us any favours, is it? So let's spin round and... I know you can't really see what where the rod is, can you? Let me try and move you around a bit. Doesn't know if that's any better. What I'm doing is I've got the rod out over my leg like so. Can't see the chat if I do that, that's the only trouble. Yeah, I'm always out and about, Steve. I go out a few times a week. All right. Let's get this lure behind the boat and start moving around a bit, shall we? Rod, so just on the edge, too many wellies there. Waiting for it to go round. I'm going to do a loop here. I'm going to go off down the river and down to some of the spots so I can normally get a few bites. Not seeing any fish, not yet. You ain't, no. And I've been here 40 minutes. <laughs> Can't always get them there. It's not, you know. You just gotta keep doing your best and try sometimes. Yeah, I was gonna go down that part of the river down there, but I don't think I will right now. Let's get ourselves going down the river a little bit, shall we? Carl Lawrence, how you doing, mate? Nice to hear from you. I see you've been out sea fishing a few times. Nice to see you getting back into it and having a little go. If anyone don't know, Carl Lawrence went to the same school as me back in the day. <laughs> and I used to do British champion weight, uh, weightlifting with his dad. <laughs> So we know each other quite well. Gonna end up in the bank if I don't do it. <laughs> Let's get back out there, shall we? Right then. Let's get back out in the river. Get away from all this noise. That's the last one we need to hear. I'm just tightening things up because it's getting all over the place. <laughs> yeah, Carl, I'll come and sub to you later on once I'm off the channel. Because I can't do it, obviously, while I'm live. Angler 58 saying I'm, you're not seeing any fish yet. Yes, lovely cold. Absolutely lovely spot to be in. I live up in the North Norfolk now. So I've got the whole of the broads and all the Norfolk coast for the fishing. And yeah, I love it. Can't beat it. The area is absolutely spot on. Right, so let's cruise down the other end a bit. Hope this rod will fly around. Got 34 people in and 24 thumbs up. Please hit the old thumbs up, everyone. It helps the channel out with the search and stuff. 
if you're not subscribed hit the old subscribe button it's all free and obviously it helps me out as well I always do the same back to anyone that comes in as new I did wonder if we had a load of leaves on. That's the only trouble with that. It's not very. Let's see what swimming like. Yeah, swimming at a good speed. That's lovely. That's exactly what we want. It's just a case of. We don't want on the bottom and in amongst the leaves. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting the opposite way around to what I normally do in the boat today, so things are a little bit different. But obviously when I come back down this way, that'll um, be the other way around, so it ain't gonna matter either way. We just gotta find a few of these pike now. Which we normally do out in these sessions, so let's keep doing it. No problem, Carl. Just give us a old thumbs up and stuff. Also, I'll subscribe to you later on. If you can do the same back, and I'll speak to you when I can. Well done, Miss Wartside. We don't have no swearing on this channel. Whether that's your normal chat or whatever, how you talk or whatever, we don't put up with on here. As of early this year, YouTube's not going to let it happen anymore. And videos will be took down and stuff, so probably best if people get used to not doing it. But I don't have it anyway. Wouldn't it be nothing to do with the YouTube rules? We just don't have it anyway. It's a family channel as well. A lot of people got their kids watching and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, you're quite welcome to have some fun and stuff, that's not a problem. There's no need to be swearing and stuff for no reason. Yeah, you did do that, didn't you, Shane? <laughs> That's not so bad when people are not monetized and stuff, but when you're sort of doing it and you're monetized, that obviously affects a lot of people's channels. But they're going to um, basically put you down in the search or even not let you put that video up fairly soon on YouTube. All the rules are changing. You're not even going to be allowed to put a worm on a hook in front of the camera anymore soon. There's a lot of new rules coming. And might as well get used to them now. You know, before it all happened, because you know, we're only a week or so away, February the 3rd. I think everything's going over to PG 13, but I'll say anything. From what I know so far, I get told a lot of stuff in the background and stuff. Yeah, exactly, Shane. I know people are only having fun sometimes and that, but some people, that's their sort of common language to just do that you know, as normal. But if you get them words in the chat, your video then get put on hold at the end. Oh, we had a take gun. Hang on, hang on. Oh, go on, hit it hard. 
Oh my god. Sorry about that everyone, I was chatting away, we had a take and I missed it. Oh! <laughs> I sort of grabbed it but didn't have it properly. I was going to grab the tail of the lure. So it didn't actually have it in its mouth properly. Oh, that's a shame. At least there was a fish down there though. That's what we're after. Power and guidance, February the 3rd. Yeah, they're, the, they're changing it all over, Shane. There's all loads of new rules coming in on YouTube this year. And like I said, it's going to be PG 13 pretty soon. And all sorts of things are changing. You literally cannot bait a lugworm or a ragworm on a hook in front of the camera because of uh, all these rights and stuff. Uh, you can't show like a, a live roach and put it out for a live bait for a pike and things like that. Not just fishing, that's going to be all over the whole fishing. That's going to be, yeah, a lot of things are going to change. Oh, and again, we're getting little takes. They're just not confident today. Normally they just smash the rod and take it right around. I think they're little jacks just grabbing the tail. Yeah, there's all sorts going to be happening. That's crazy, isn't it? Come on, Mr. Pike, just grab it properly. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Robert, yeah. There's lots of people out there for all sorts of different things. And that's just... I suppose people have been complaining and YouTube have got to be seen to be doing something about it, I suppose. And the trouble is the, the monetized channels with the adverts and stuff on and things like that hear about it first. And then they sort of work, it, work its way down the... Down the ladder, sort of thing. Because obviously, YouTube are worrying about making their money, aren't they? Not that they share it with us a lot very much. <laughs> Yeah, you're spot on there, Michael S. I agree with you, mate. Rules on things are, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you think all the sea fish and that get netted up every day and people eat them, but same down here. People come down here and catch little roach and rud and stuff and take them out pike and use them for bait and stuff. But there's not much we can do, rules are rules, and if you want to be on this platform, you just got to follow the rules or they take you off, they're pretty strict. I've had a couple of my videos held back for like a week and two weeks um, from putting adverts and stuff like that on them and just for bad words in the chat. If someone swear or someone put a sexual comment up or something like that, even me just saying that, that'll probably get reviewed now. which means that someone from YouTube, from their team, will basically go through the whole video, watch every single word of it, and see who's done what. And then that person gets a warning. I think you get free warnings and your channel go, basically. I don't think anyone wants that. Yeah, that's true, Michael. But... Oh, 
Oh, God. That's three times now. Now that was a proper take because I felt the fish thumping away. We went through some weed and we had a take at the same time. By the feel of things. What's going on here? Let's check this hook. Because I'm not happy with what's going on here. We should have had one of these fish in the boat, really. Mm, hook's sharp-ish. It's a little bit blunt, I would say. Which is not a good thing, but... Oh. It's not one of the lures that you can take the hook out of and change your hook, that's the trouble. I'm gonna um, put this behind the boat quite a bit further behind the boat so we're not actually anywhere near. Oh, uh, Electric motor is going through. Well, you, you can get IP address blockers and all that sort of stuff, but you don't want to have to be doing all that, do you? There is ways around that sort of stuff, but don't need that sort of hassle. And you can you can buy gadgets that gives your house like ten different IPs and stuff like that, but. Oh yeah, they can remove mods, they can do all sorts, they can pretty much do whatever they want, can't they? It's their, it's their platform. Steve P, when I reel in, I'll show you what I've got on. I've got a soft lure on at the moment. With a waggly tail, as I call it. And I've got a couple more in the boat. I'll get out now and try and show you. Oh, hang on. Yeah, so I've got a rod in the water this time. I wasn't planning on actually doing this, but because normally I can get the pipe down where I was, but I'm having to sort of move up the river a bit and try some other spots. Seems to be a lot of weed and all sorts gone through the water there. It's a bit of a pain. Just making my Pushing a lot more hard work. I'm just picking up loads of weed and leaves at the moment. We have had a couple of takes. I felt the fish on a little while ago, so. Let's just keep trying. I'll get myself out into the middle of this river a bit and we'll, we'll drift along and I'll see if I can have a food cast along the side of these.
Yeah, no problem at all, Jay. I love going out like this as well. And you did ask me the other day, yeah, you said if I go and do a scenic tour, next time I do it, take a rod with me, so. Yep, that's hitting two birds at one time sort of thing. And so we'll just keep moving around and keep casting. Eventually we will find something that will stay on. Sorry, I'm sort of drifting around a bit, but I'm trying to cast in all different angles and when you reel in the lure, that pulls the boat. <laughs> well, it's not just trying to hook you up a fish. For me and for you. <laughs> it's quite a low tide, but it looks things there. Which is not always helpful. Don't seem to be in the areas that I thought they were going to be today. Is that unusual? Just casting all around the boat at the moment, just trying all different areas. You may be seeing the lure plopping about in the places that I'm casting. I'm trying to sort of... Oh, what happened there? Thanks Beverly for coming in. Hi KC, how you doing? We're just having a cast around the boat at the moment, just trying to find a few bits. I had a couple of takes, but I haven't kept them on. I ain't took it properly, I just took the end of the lure and not the hook. Oh, I'd like to come up and get a big skate. I'd love to do that, especially from the bank. Not yet, but we're trying hard. <laughs> we're definitely trying hard. So someone was asking what I was using, so I'll just show this again, even though everyone's probably seen it. There's two new people coming in, so... I am using that at the moment with the old waggly tail. Single hook, connected to a 40 pound trace for the pike's teeth. And I've seen it do quite well out of that. And I've also got... I 
uh, Rapala X wrap with me as well. Rattly one. You just sort of dart about in the water and they're okay as well. And then I've got a Rapala uh, Ripstop 21, which is a, a faster moving one from there about trying to get out of the packet. And that's that one there. Got rattling as well. And that's the lures I'm using at the moment. That's the sort of lures I like to to cast around. Fingers crossed I won't lose them because they're not cheap ones. <laughs> and hopefully they catch a few fish. What did I miss? <laughs> I sometimes do use a wire trace, but I've found I'm using line. Let's the um, lighter lures go down slower. So if you've got a wire trace on, the weight of the wire trace seems to pull it to the bottom quicker. Whereas sometimes when you've got a lure on, you want to flutter down. It doesn't flutter down, if that makes sense. It just pulls it straight down to the bottom. But yes, I do use wire traces. and um, I'll do it both ways, to be honest. If I'm fishing on the bottom with a big dead bait on or something like that, then I'll use a wire trace. But I find 40 to 60 pound line on the trace. Yeah, mono is perfectly good enough as well. You see me land quite a few big fish on that sort of setup. Already, I've got a video coming out soon as well. There's some more big fish in it. Right. Let's move down a bit so we've got to just keep moving around until we find where we're we're going to get a few takes in the sort of same spots and we can work out where the pike are gone then not say normally normally we would have had one by now we've been out an hour don't get me wrong with bad takes. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Jobs, how you doing? Richard. <laughs> a big difference between going through weed and getting a take off a getting a take down getting a pike take the rod flies around and you feel a thump you can yeah the fish is on whereas weed just bends the rod around which we don't want <laughs> Don't know if you can see the side of the banks and stuff, it is quite a low tide. Over there was showing where the flooding was, but I think the tide's low at the moment. We're going to go around the edge of the island here now and I might have been more up or just tie myself to the side and have a little cast around. We've got like an entrance here to the river from like the back of the island, which could be a good spot. Let's have a little cast around this area, shall we? Got leaves on again. It's been a right pain. Keep the lure. Oh. I can't obviously go on the bank around these areas because all this stuff you can see to the right, uh, to the left here, is all private. I can't moor up on any of them. Well, I can drift down the water as much as I want. No one owns the water.
I do wonder, you know, if we're getting perch attack, guess, but uh, not big enough to take it. We're getting quite a few little like nips at it, but they're not big takes like a pike would do. I wonder if there's a few perch about. This is just a too big a lure for perch to take. Hope you're getting to see a few bits of this as the boat keeps spinning around in all different directions. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Pike, where are you? Take my lure properly. leaf again that cause pain definitely a pain today <laughs> oh. Hook's getting quite blunt, which is a bit of a pain, but got to try it. I need a hook sharpener, really. That's what I need. But if a, a good sized bike snap at that, we should get it. Unbelievable amount of twigs and stuff. <laughs> well, I am casting all over the place, everyone. I'm just crawling along here. I'm literally casting up every little garden. These little boat driveways, I suppose you can call them. <laughs> Just seeing if there's anything across them. Yeah, she cast them right down on my gap. I don't know if you can see that. Flow of the toy taking me down the river. So. Thing is, everywhere it seems to be really shallow at the moment, it's causing me a pain.
cutting the trees. I ain't nowhere near there now. I'm half a mile down river. So I wouldn't know. <laughs> but I hope so. This water side. No, I can actually hear the chainsaw very faintly in the background. So no, he hasn't. <laughs> I'm having to go along this bit of the river here, then I'll go around the back of the island. We'll see if we can get some takes around these areas. And hopefully they'll be finished what they're doing by the time we get back down the other end. There's no reason why I can't get a pipe down this end. Some really nice spots along here. just a case of me having to keep moving you around because the boat keeps spinning around <laughs> so you can actually see stuff. I'm definitely casting every cast probably I don't know five times a minute <laughs> trying to get a take. Must admit, I'm quite surprised we didn't have one yet. We actually landed one. <laughs> uh, where did that go? Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Gone up over the branches of a tree there, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to go over to the tree. Grab all the lure, because I can see the lure, <laughs> before I pull up a tree, because that's not what I need to be doing. I don't want to lose me lure, because this me lucky lure at the moment, that's catching me all the fish. Can't feel long, just gonna have to untie the trace. Tie it back on again so I don't lose the trace on the lure. It's the best thing to do when you get in these situations. <laughs> That's without pulling into a tree as well, or uh, into the boat as well. on the rod, tie it back on. Still being a pain to come out of the tree, even though there's nothing on the end of it. <laughs> we would have lost it, which is not good. Right. <laughs> We're getting there. Line's coming back towards me. Let's get tied back on. Stuck in the tree. Oh, right. <laughs> Got the end of the line again. That was a bit of a pain. Let's get it tied back on. Trace that is. I can swap my lures anytime I need to. But if I don't get a bite on this one, I don't feel confident about using the others. This is normally my little go-to one, the right colour. I've got these in all different colours. And this one I always seem to pick up the fish. I think that's because it looks like a rustic outdoors. How you doing? Not yet. Hooked up to two or three little jacks, I think. Just grabbing the tail of the lure. We're 
still trying. There's still plenty of time yet, I don't know what the time is. So look, yeah, it's two o'clock, so we've got plenty of time yet. I'll be out till dark, so if we don't get a fish, then that'll be a poor day's fishing for where I am. I would expect to get a fish. Absolute pain this boat spinning around and stuff. <laughs> Let me spin you around so you end up facing where I'm facing. Wherever the boat goes. <laughs> Should have worked out a little while ago, shouldn't I? Makes sense then. I just want you to see all around as well. Carting like that into the boat yards. Without going into them. Just seeing if there's any pipe down on the entrance. Sort of place you'd expect them to be sitting. Must admit, I'm not as confident down here as I am down at the stafe, but I have, I did lose a very, very big fish just around the corner here. Uh, not very long ago, which I've got in my, which will be on my latest video coming out sometime this week. I'm guessing that was a good high 20. I had it on for a little while and then that took me around to don't know what it was, a mooring chain or something like that, something very heavy. And then get down to the bottom. I could feel a fish still banging around, but lost it in the end. It's a real shame. It's not being quiet down here today, and there's no one else fishing. Which is sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing. <laughs> oh, this is the trouble. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm coming up with a load of that weed. I reckon the broads boat's been up and down the river and cut everything. Which is a bit of a pain, but... Well, um... I think we'll spin round and start heading round the back of the island there. Get your legs and stuff in sensible position again. We'll spin round. against the tide now a bit, I see any trouble. And as you can probably see, it's pushing me all over the place. <laughs> yeah, let's give it some stick and get back out in the middle of the river. Right, get the lure out the back of the boat. That's what we're moving along, you never know, do you? That's what it's all about. Back down here a bit. Back into the spots where I feel a, a lot better. Wouldn't. Wait. Whoa, I had to take him, but I think that was weed. <laughs> oh no, there's nothing on the hook. Oh, we might have another take. What is going on? If these are all takes that I'm getting, then I ain't doing too well. Keeping them on, boys. The 
fluid is tight going out. It's cool. It's a powerful fluid, is eh? Have a look at this. Get behind the boat a bit. Get up down off the weed. And let's see if we can get a bite. Against this tide. It's gonna make the lure flutter its tail better than me going this way and not the other way. Which is definitely a good thing. Oh no, that's gotta be weed. I haven't done too much. There's no way I'm missing that many fish. No way. I don't know if you miss many pipe points as you probably seen. Will we miss them today? I don't know. If they are all bites. I think a few of them have been bites, but a few of them haven't as well. probably see on the picture I'm just sort of laying back across the boat in the chair got my feet over the edge and I've got the rods that are sitting on the edge of my feet like so hope you can see that yeah <laughs> and that's what we're doing let's keep lifting up because I'll keep going through weed beds I think because it's low tide it's quite shallow at the moment and it's causing me trouble. <laughs> I ain't got that depth of water to keep the fish up. Keep the fish up, keep the lure off the bottom. So I'm going to hold the rod up like that for a little while and see. So you can see the tip going round, that's hitting weed that is. Whereas if a pipe work that'll go round and that'll stay round and I'll feel the fish. <laughs> sort of areas where I normally get a bite. So let's see what happens. I don't feel confident it's not got leaves all over it. Let's just check it and put it out again. Yeah, see it's got all leaves over ahead of it and it's just no good. It's got to be a clear lure. Not covered in weed and stuff. Won't work otherwise. Come on, fishies, it's time to get a proper take and bring a fish in. Do you agree, everyone? Your rod tip's bouncing. They're just bobbing along us because it's going against the tide. Pretty sure they're not takes. <laughs> it's annoying me though. There's no way I'm getting that many takes in this and it. It's gotta be weed beds and stuff. Or just at a low tide and have to keep putting the rod up higher and higher. I'm trying to get it off the bottom. Over that we're gonna have to speed the boat up slightly. Forty-nine pound, nice. I'll be impressed if he's done forty-nine pound. I would guess it's probably at about nineteen. Much <laughs> bushes and stuff here, so I'm having to hold the lure out of the way.
chap who's cutting the trees is now down this end. So I'm there going back down towards that end. Because we don't want to be next to him, it's too noisy. <laughs> How's it going, Paul? Are you doing nitro cup? 20 pounder would be nice, yeah, it'd be lovely. <laughs> But at the moment, I'll be happy to just hook up a couple of fish and get them in the boat. <laughs> it's proving a little bit of hard work at the moment. I have had a couple of takes, but... Um, I haven't hooked up, but I'm also getting really pestered with weed. And the lure don't seem to be staying up off the bottom at the moment. I think they've cut all the reeds and stuff down the river and cover the river and debris basically. It's a bit of a pain but I won't give up, you know me, I'll keep trying till the end. Plenty of stuff going ahead now. <laughs> Huge day for putting up the old links and stuff. Hope everyone's helping each other out and joining each other's channels and stuff. And if you can help me out as well and hit the old thumbs up on the way in and out or out or something like that, then please join up if you haven't already. We have a lot of fun in the channel. We do take the fishing seriously, but we also have a bit of fun as well. And I also join in people's chats and stuff at night when I'm not out fishing and join in with the fun there as well. People like Rich and Tasha and stuff like that. Jarvis that is. And yeah, that's how it goes. Got 41 thumbs up and 29 people in, so appreciate that everyone. Hello again Andy, how you doing? Got a hard day going or what, what are you up to? Oh, I cannot get away from all the weed and leaves at the moment. That's that's as though they've been down the river and done a load of cuttings on the edges, which I can see they've done. And that's just all over the river. That's making it really hard for me to keep a lure going through without getting caught up in it. I've had a couple of takes, which I missed. I'm seeing a lot of baby, um, what are they called? Cormorants. Which I don't normally see many of. There's plenty of adult ones about, but I don't normally see the little baby ones. And I'm seeing quite a few today. They're quite sweet little things, but <laughs> it's just more birds to eat more fish. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, then people are going to hear it just down there on the other side of the island there, so I won't go down that way. Oh, I've done it again. It's just picking up loads and loads of weed. <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating because I'm trying really hard to fish nicely. Yeah, and keep it all running nicely how I want it to. I keep picking up 10 tonne of weed and leaves and stuff. Yeah, them, them pike down there, Roger, are not actually very easy to catch because they've got so much live bait down there to eat that they leave your baits alone, pretty much. That's why I don't pike down there very often. I see them all the time. Every time I fish down there, I see pike going through the swim, crashing at things. I've seen, I even seen them take swans, you know, get out their legs and stuff on video. But, yeah, it's the reason I don't do it down there. Up here, there's not so many um, bait fish because of the salt tide, so the pike that do stay up here, I've got nothing to feed on, so normally you can get a few bites quite quickly, because as soon as they see a fish going through, they're, they're after it, you know. Mm, might have to go onto a surface lure because this is not working. Oh, my lure is getting pulled apart now as well. It's had a lot of fish on it now. <laughs> it's a shame. I like this lure.
Can't believe it ain't happened yet, everyone. <laughs> now I'm a bit quiet, I'm just trying to work things out. Oh, how lucky was that? That was good. <laughs> Got my nerve back. I believe every time I get it caught on something like that, it's getting blunder and blunder. It's not helping the fishing. I'm glad I got it back. It's my favourite dirt, you know? <laughs> I might change everything to that one in a little while. And... Oh, I the motor here at the moment because it's so shallow we're hitting the bottom and we don't want to be breaking anything. Didn't want to do that, but at least we didn't lose them. I don't know why we're having so much trouble with the tide today, we don't normally. It must have been a high tide and really pull them back.
Oi lordy mate, how you doing? I'm struggling. I've had a couple of bites but haven't kept them on. I think they're just nipping at the tail of the lure that could be perched taking it and it's too big but I'm here at completely wrong tide and stuff as well so that's not doing me any favours. Hopefully we'll hit low tide soon and it'll start coming back up because that's what we need. Yeah, all, all I'm doing at the moment is hitting weed and leaves and stuff on the bottom, which is a pain. But we ain't obviously going to give up. You know what I'm like, I'll keep going until I can't see. He's got pike jumping in swim, is he? Oh, lovely. They're going to be there, though, if the, all the live bait is there, aren't they? While I'm going through here, I'll have a couple of casts and just see if we can keep the lure mid water. Let me get a bite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> could well be, Robert. I was down there the other day in the same swim, um, and I had rod after rod after rod, and he's getting perch after perch, after perch, roach after roach. Strange, isn't it? I had a whole day, and I was just catching rod nearly every single cast, apart from one roach and a couple of perch. And then they're not there, the, you know, a few days later. Strange. I must have had, I don't think I had over 30 rod that day on that live. Oh, nice one, Robert. I didn't know you were in. Yeah, I'm definitely struggling, but not like I said, I ain't got a lot of water. It's so shallow, because the tide's right down. That's making it a pain. I should have checked the tides and stuff, really, and... Worked out, but I just felt felt like coming out and giving it a go. Having a little cruise in the boat. Seeing how we can get on. We've got, what, 43 likes, everyone. Really appreciate that. Thanks very much. Be nice if we can get over 50 again. I think we got to 84 the other day out in the fresh water, so that was a new PB. People are liking what I'm doing, which is great.
I'm going to go right through the the main area, what I call the best spot of the lure turn behind the boat. So you can probably hear the tree cutting still going on, but it's not down here now. They're working their way down the river a bit. They're obviously working on the edges of the river and stuff and fallen trees and all sorts of stuff. Just the same way chop it all and that all go in the river. Definitely many people about. There's one boat pulled up earlier on. I haven't seen him. I don't know if he's just moored up and gone to sleep or whatever he's doing. But he's not fishing, even though he's got rods on the roof. It's really strange what's going on. So it could be the tide. Load of bits on the spinner again. Let's have a good little cast around this area again, shall we? If I'm going to get a take, it's going to be around here. I would have fought for a bigger fish. I might get you know, some other fish. And some other spots, but I normally get the bigger fish around this area. Getting a bit colder now, got cold feet and cold hands, but we can deal with that for a few hours. person who come in the boat was literally moored up right next to my car, I don't know why. <laughs> Just sort of got in the queue of the other boats I think, instead of mooring up right in the middle of the never end. Where are these pike? Come on Mr Pike, where are you? Are you enjoying the view of me floating around like this and just sort of showing you everything or do you want me to turn you around so you can see me casting a reel out and stuff like that? What would you rather see?
Well, at least if I'm casting around like this, I'm not actually picking up some weed now. If it's spin is not swimming as good as it normally do. No, it's still good, it still looks good. I'm just wondering because this got a bit of a tear in it. I had the pipe take it so many times. Look, the guess what's coming into the boot mode. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the right spots, Kev. I know where the fish sort of live around here. And I've had quite a few lately. I've got a video coming out again soon. And I've had a couple of nice fish, sort of 16, 17 pound. And I've had quite a few jacks. I think I've had about 12 jacks now. All around the sort of six to eight pound mark in the last week or so. So I know they're normally here. It's just today they don't seem to be playing ball. So I don't normally fish to the lower tides. That's the only thing. And that's right down now, I think. So that could be what is making it really shallow, or I'm not really sure. I'm definitely picking up a fair bit of weed and bits and pieces. <laughs> Which is a bit of a pain. Are the pike actually in this area while it's low tide, or do they move away to other areas? That's what I'll find out. That'd be a pain to get in and out of the boat in low tide like this. <laughs> Never really thought about it, but I'd still be able to get up. You just have to get up on your knees instead of onto your feet. So I'm surprised I would have thought I'd have probably hooked up by now.
think we might be at low tide. I think we stopped dripping. This would be handy for us. Don't know if anyone fancy just looking up what time high tide is there. Well, I'm guessing that's definitely right down at the moment. Because I can see obviously all the bottom of the trees and reeds and stuff all sticking out when they're normally covered. Yeah, I know the pike like the shallow water, but when that's too shallow, it makes it hard to present the spinner nicely. Or the, you know, the lures and stuff, because they're on the bottom before you can even start patrolling them across in front of the pike's face. Next high tide, 2 hours 46 minutes, which will put it right on about 5 o'clock when it's getting dark, which is perfect, sort of. <laughs> Means we've got a good chance, at least it's going up.
I never really thought about it the last few times I've come. Well, I'm pretty sure the tide's been quite high both the other times that I've been coming. Quite strange. I normally come down here and get, you know, average of around probably six, six to eight fish. So to not have had one yet, it's not normal. And then like I said, I think I did hook up to a couple of jacks earlier on. I'm just taking the lure tail. Mustn't neglect them boats over there either, really. Because they've been there for a while now, so there could be some fish laying under them. I mean, there's no reason why a two and a half, three pound perch can take this lure either. But normally they take smaller ones. But it does seem like the water's deeper. Over in the middle here, and it is to over the sides, which is normal. Forty-seven thumbs up, everyone. Thanks very much. Really appreciate that. Just like to get you a fish, really, if I can. So I don't think they're in this area at the moment. I'm going to have to. Down the river slightly around the corner here from these boats and see if there's anything down there. It also gives you like something new to look at as well.
go into this area a bit and see if there's anything happening down here. Don't ever see anyone fishing along here to be honest. That doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> Let's have a look around here, shall we? Pretty cold, my toes are hurting. I was alright when I first came out, but I'm soon getting chilly. And then it is only three degrees today, so it's probably less now to be honest. It was three this morning. I've been getting some nasty frosts up here. Definitely worth a go, giving it a few casts around there. And... Oh, we're still getting leaves and stuff. <laughs> Driving me mad, I don't normally get them. They normally up off the bottom quite quickly. And I don't normally get that hassle. I'm going to reel in faster and hope hey, that's not too fast so I can stay off the bottom. If you finally get one drifting around in here. <laughs> I think we're going to write on boat ride. Yeah, warm up before I catch one. How you doing again, Andy Tigger? How you doing, NW? <laughs> yeah, I might warm me up a little bit if I catch one. But it's definitely not warm. Cool. Yeah, Stephen is live as well.
trouble. I'm getting on rolling in too fast as Lewis coming up to the surface, which I don't want. Sorry, you're in the bushes. <laughs> but you did tell me to leave it that way around. <laughs> That's different, isn't it? <laughs> Let me reverse a bit and get you out. Here, yeah, Andy Tigger. Jay's joined the team. He's now green. And he's now a member. Appreciate that. I think we're up to 12 members now. But we need to get a fair few more really to keep things going as best I can. Not yet, struggling today at the moment. Thanks very much for that, Jay. Appreciate that. I must be doing something right because I've got quite a few of the top mods as members on my channel, which I really appreciate. It's great. If there's anyone got any ideas and they want to see me do some other stuff, then Drop it in the comments and I'll see what I can do for you. I'll do my best to show you some stuff sort of two or three times a week at least. On the lives and I obviously do videos as well. And I also run a car channel so. <laughs> Got quite a lot going on as well as work. Well, I certainly do my best every week to keep stuff coming to you. And as the warmer months come we get the longer days. I'll keep more and more coming. Well, it's not too much happening on this area. We can keep moving along. The only other spot I can go at the moment, which is in the area roughly, you know, not too far away, is um, down around the back of the island. We didn't know to go there today yet. something I need to get some electric socks and my tees tees my toes are like ice <laughs> I've got power packs and stuff with me all the time I've always got spare ones I could be plugging in some electric socks and warming my feet up it's because I'm standing on the bottom of the boat and obviously the bottom of the boat's in the water which makes it quite cold but then to be honest they get cold on the bank as well so Body's good, I've got my suit and stuff on, my body's pretty warm. Come on, Mr. Pikeys, I'll be happy with a four pounder at the moment. 
just want to get one on and know they're in the area. It's very unusual not to get through jacks. Is Stephen getting on everyone? Is he still pulling in loads of roach or is he starting to find a few rud and stuff like that? Or bream or anything like that? Or... get past these boats we'll get up a little bit further I'll start casting down there between them as well and see what's in there I reckon these little spots will be really good with uh, the perch jig you know it's much smaller jigs and much smaller rod and have a little go around the edge of these boats and stuff I guess. Slight little taken. Again, that felt like a small fish, like a perch. A bit of shame. Come on, Mr. Pike. <laughs> I can see lots of trees and stuff on the bank down here that have all been cut down. And yeah, that's what they've been up to. It's probably disturbed the whole area, to be honest. But we'll drift through and keep trying. 51 thumbs up. Thanks very much, everyone.
mainly works in a couple of bream, nice one. 26 pound, oh he's doing right, he's on a personal best then isn't he? Do you believe? Well, I don't think he's going to want to count the bream, he's going to want to get the catch with the brooch. And the rod I would have thought. I don't know how many casts I've had, but I've had a lot of casts now, everyone. <laughs> About an actual, a proper, yeah, fish on. But I'm doing my best, that's all I can do. Sorry about that, I had to move because I was drifting into the bank. <laughs> Shouldn't look good to me. I'll have a cast down the side of these boats and stuff. Do that, do I? <laughs> Hitting the camera now. I do believe I can see the tide starting to go back up. think
Ooh. Pretty cold, everyone. That's why I ain't saying too much. <laughs> but I'm casting around the bay, having a good old go. Let's see across through each trees and along the angles where the normally the good spots are. Hi Mellow Toys, how you doing? Hi Peter. Not yet at the moment. I'm struggling today to be honest. I've come here at low tide not realising. And that doesn't seem to be anywhere near as good as high tide. <laughs> we had a couple of little takes. I think I've just grabbed the lure and not actually got the hook. We haven't actually had anything on and stayed on yet. And it's very cold. My toes are like ice, my hands are like ice. <laughs> But if you're not trying, you're not going to catch. Simple as that. That's <laughs> what we're casting all around the boat. Trying all the different areas. And we're just letting the boat drift around and we're just casting all over the place. I'm pretty sure we'll get something before I pack up. Or I would have thought so. I'd be quite shocked if we don't. Any sea fishing? Um, not sure when at the moment, but yeah, I'll be out there having to go again soon. It's easier for me to pop out of work and do what I'm doing like this than it is for me to get all my sea gear together and get down the beach and order baits and all that sort of stuff. With this sort of stuff, I always keep baits and stuff at home so I'm ready to go, sort of thing. Obviously, lug worm, rag worm, and all that sort of stuff, you can't. Keep that in stock all the time. But yeah, we'll be getting back out there on the on the beaches. I've had a lot of people asking me to. Obviously it costs money as well and that's a little bit cheaper to go fresh water. We're trying to build a garage at the moment as well. And if you know I've got a car channel, Car Transformations UK. We're trying to build that at the moment, we're having to build spray booths and save up to buy ramps and stuff like that. For our work as well, so yeah, we end up got a lot of spare money at the moment to be honest. Stephen's got another bream, nice one. Big one or just a small one? What, five, six pounder or? Sounds like the bream is starting to move down into Roxham. Which is a good thing. As long as they don't push a rod out. Because <laughs> I can catch a bream all year long, whereas the rod is much harder to find normally. I had a really good session on the other day, so quite chuckled about it. Well, I've had quite a few this winter, to be honest. A lot of big ride right up to two pound mark. But I'd love to get one around three pound. <laughs>
Come on, Mr. Pike. Ooh. Nearly went in the tree. <laughs> Over 30 pound, that's good. That is well chuffed then, isn't he? I bet it's cold though, because it ain't warm out here. He's done really well today to get up really early like he did and get yourself down there really early. To get the swim that he wanted. We could have gone down and had a fish with him, but I didn't really fancy it today. I fancy doing something different. I don't want people on the channel to get bored with the same stuff that I'm doing. But there's only so many fish you can catch in the winter. Fresh water wise, there's with these salt tides that come up onto the boards, that makes it a lot harder work. Most of the fish are down rocks and way. And not anywhere else. Which is why I'm up here trying to get the pike. This is the only other thing you can really get around the other areas. There's a pike. And this place should be absolutely swarmed with fish in the summer. But in the winter, when the salt's up here like this, you can cast out here with maggots, worm, sweet corn, and you'd be lucky to get a bite. Can't say I ain't covered in a swim, so I'm literally casting all angles of the boat. Basically every area is if there was a fish down there feeding, then I'd have to take by now. Oh, it looked like it's coming up fairly quickly, which is good. We need some water in here, really. I think it'll make all the difference. I think what we might do is whip down to Wormack Island, go around the back, yeah? I might even jump out of the boat and have a little go along the, the morons and stuff. I'll just come away from this area for a little bit. And then when that's full of water again in a little while, will be. We can then try that again. On the way down there we'll just whip us out the back of the boat and troll along. Just in case. Oh, not on the gate we won't know. I don't know if we put the bail arm over. <laughs> give ourselves a bit of a give us a bit of stick and get us going down the river a bit. Whee. Like ice. <laughs> it's the only trouble being out in the boat like this when that's really cold like this. Everything just goes freezing and it makes it hard work to even talk, let alone. <laughs> not yet, Sky. I'm doing my best, but that's not happening right now. I am trying. <laughs> Just said the same thing at the same time as me. <laughs> Was that me talking about the bream moving in and moving the rod moving out? Which I hope they haven't done. <laughs> Oh, 
all this weed. <laughs> it's frustrating me now. I don't know we have that hassle. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Just trying to keep things mixed up on the channel so the people look ask me what to see certain things. I get to show them stuff as well as the other stuff I would show. I try to keep everyone happy. Obviously it's not possible all the time but I do my best. How you doing Clive? It's another chap that always tries to come in, which is nice. Oh, we're starting to get low on time everyone, it's not good. Half three is probably going to be dark by five. We need a fish. We need a fish. <laughs> Hi, John, how you doing? I'm not on live baits or dead baits. I've got soft lures out at the moment. And I've got a selection of other ones on the boat, but that's not really happening today. I'm really struggling. I would say my hands are like ice, my toes and feet are killing, <laughs> which is not good. Yeah, well, I'm meant to be there, John. <laughs> I should be at work, so what I have to do when I come out like this is I have to go to work in the evenings because I've run my own garage. I can go in any time sort of thing. It just means I've got to go in tonight now. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Kev. <laughs> I wish. I can't complain. I make the most of what I, you know, I get out two or three times a week, so I can't really complain.
Yeah, no problem. Thanks for popping in. Please hit the old thumbs up if you can. Wish I brought a nice hot chocolate with me, I know that. <laughs> Could do with that right now. Nice. Be even better if we can get the 50 pound. But 40 pound is still a really good target, isn't it? I think his best before was about 22, so absolutely smashing it. Awesome. Right, so we're coming up to Womack Island. We'll go around the back here. So I might have more up on it, to be honest. And just have a wander up and down, just see if I can make, get my feet moving again. They are literally like blocks of ice, and that's hurting. <laughs> going for forty pound, nice, yeah, awesome. Hope everyone's giving him a good old thumbs up, and that's he's putting the effort in, same as me. Four feet. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Nearly threw it in straight across the propeller then. The last one we need. <laughs> now I'm tangled up Romy Rod. What's going on here? do as well. Keep trolling along the river. We'll go in the other entrance, shall we? Down the bottom end. I think me going at this speed would be way too quick to get a bite on the lure, but I've got out there anyway. Get back out into this more open bit and we'll slow down a little bit more. Oh. Should really stop and get back to the car to be honest, my feet are that cold, but I'm gonna say I'll, I'll go around the back of the island and I'll just jump out and walk up and down the bank a few times, we'll have a few cars like that and see if I can warm up a little bit. Cheers for that, Clive. Just helps the channel and the search and stuff. Uh, perch on spinners. Where would I go to do that? Obviously the boat yards in Roxham is a good area. Horsted Mill. Uh, Long Cottershaw. Even here is probably worth a go, but there's not that many boats to go at. It's more of a like, you know, have a little go through and then go somewhere else, sort of thing. Um, trying to think. I know where it is a good spot if you fancy it. Stullum, Richardson's Boatyard. There's hundreds of boats in there, and I've seen people catch perch on lures in there. And I've hooked a few myself, but I haven't landed them. But I've had some nice perch out there in the summer as well, sort of up to two pound. They're definitely around that area.
Nice to see you getting out and about, Kev, anyway. Nice to meet you the other day. He's just got something big, but what? <laughs> well, you mean he lost it. South Coast Angler, how you doing? Appreciate you coming in. We ain't got anything in, had anything in the boat yet, but we're still trying. That's all we can do at the moment. had a good take in but no that was weed and so I don't normally miss many takes I'm just going through weed again which is being a pain yeah it sounds like the the bream are definitely moving in down Roxham yeah um, I was up there with Andy Tigger the other day as well, and he had a couple at Loddon. So they're sort of coming into the rivers or boatyards to start to feed up, which is good. Fifty-six thumbs up. Appreciate that, everyone. Twenty-nine people in. I'm doing my very best to try and find you a fish, but it's not happening right now. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to tie up at the Warrens. There's a 24 hour Warren around the back of the island around here. So I'm going to tie up on there. And I'm just going to have to walk up and down the bank a little bit just to get my toes moving. Because I say they're literally like ice and they're hurting. <laughs> oh, it's quite painful. I'm sure if I have a little walk around. And, you know, cast around that, you never know, you might even get a fish from the bank. All the trees along the edge on the left hand side also no more and got signs on them. But I know you can around the other side here. Yeah.
as you can see in front of me here to the right there, there's a mooring. Oh, there's a baby. Hello Irene, how you doing? Cheers for coming in. sort of go over towards these steps there and tie up on one of these posts. So I'm going to walk up and down the bank a bit and have a few casts. Obviously I'll keep you on still. And um, Keep seeing lots of little baby cormorants. <laughs> Down on my own feet. Oh, I don't know what's breathing. Oh. I'm going to warm up and then this bank a little bit. And um, see if I can just warm up slightly. <laughs> my face shirt so you can see me fishing. Give me a second, I'm just trying to sort out a tangle. Alright, here we go.
that side there. Let's go down this side, shall we? Turn the chair around. Would you be able to see anything? I'm going to go off along that side now. Oh, my feet. Hi Caroline, how you doing? Star jumps, yeah, <laughs> need to do something. Let me down here doing some press ups in a minute. <laughs> oh.
I don't know how well you saw that, everyone, but we just had a take over there, but I didn't carry on. The pain. <laughs> oh. Power uh, pack on you lot before you start going flat. I can't believe how cold it is everyone, I don't normally get that cold that I can't fish properly, but I am today. Oh, my hands are my guys. My toes are not too bad. Now I've moved a little bit. Oh, what's this doing now? You have to bear with me everyone, I'm getting hassled with this. Why, for some reason, it's not plugging in properly. All right, get myself back in the boat and start going around the Edgewood Island. It's gonna be getting dark pretty soon, that's the trouble now. Back in. Find it hard to move. <laughs> oh. So cold. I'm not going to normally put up with the cold, which is strange. So what I can see over here in the bushes there. Nice pike float. They even got a rod, not on. <laughs> it's obviously tangled up, was that? That's what I was going after that pike float, but it's not a lot of good by looks things. Because it's in bits, but I'll still take it in and throw it away. But I thought I was going to get a free pike bung there. Eh? Shame. <laughs> Shame. 
Just trying to get the net back on the boat. In the right spot so it don't knock it out. That's so hard to move when you can't feel your fingers and stuff. You probably know on my channel, I don't normally complain, I've got minus six and stuff, but this feels colder. You know what's going on? Cheers, Mel. Appreciate that. That is pretty cold, I must admit. <laughs> I have been thinking about it, but I don't like to let anyone down. I don't like to, you know, go out and do a session like this and not get a fish either. And I'm just trying to struggle on, really, to look at dark. Yeah, the, uh, the skimmers are definitely moving into rocks and men, aren't they? Just hope we don't push all the rod out. That would be really annoying. No, still nothing yet. <laughs> just had a take on the morons I was casting around just now and hooked up for a sec, but it didn't stay on long. I've got a feeling I'm getting perched taking this, to be honest. Because I don't normally miss many pike. Normally when I get a bite, a bang and I'm into it and yeah, I'm fighting it. I don't lose them very often. Oh. Nice, I'm glad he's doing alright. How you doing, Lee? Doing alright, any Roger? He's having a really good net of fish.
<laughs> yeah, he's doing pretty good, Mick. I could have gone down there and done the same, but I was only just down there catching a load of rod, so I thought I'd do something different for the channel. No, really. I know people want to, want to see this sort of thing. Jay wanted to see me go out for a cruise in the boat and take a rod with me as well. So I thought I'll get the pike rod out. The trouble is I keep hooking up on the bottom. Hi Keith Card, how you doing mate? Yeah, some drop shot and jellies would be ideal. Around the edges of boats and stuff like that. <coughs> oh, excuse me everyone. The old battery on the boat is getting pretty low now as well. I think that's because that's so cold. Down on 40%. That'll probably be 20 by the time we get down the end of here. Hopefully, the old toy's coming back in. Well, it is not, hopefully. I can see it's come up quite a bit already. I do what I like chocolate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trawling along in the boat at the moment, yeah. Nice one, nice to see a few of the bigger bream. But where are the bream, you know, like the, the eight, nine, ten pounders, where are they? because I haven't been able to find them since I've moved up here in the last six months. I found, oh no, tell a lie, I, at Lodden Key I had a couple around eight, nine pound. I've only got about an hour's worth of fishing left probably. It's start getting dark at around five, then that's the trouble. The time you drive up here and stuff. Unless you want to come up here, it's up to you. But it's pretty cold out here and I know you don't like the cold. Go 
of wind starting to come across the bay now into my face. Just being a pain today. It looks like that boat just down there, that big boat. It looks like we've got the lure caught around the top of the anchor. Shouldn't gonna be doing me no favours, obviously. Any trouble getting your lure going along? It looks like it's going straight down, but clearly it's not. It must be going out in the river. It's a bit of a pain. Could have done without that. I wanted to get over there really. Where that wind is, see if a fish has moved in. But now I've got to do this. Find a fish. It's right pain. Oh, right. Could be any more of a pain to there if they want to be, to be honest. Being a right pain, and the anchor weight is like 10 ton, so it's not like I can just pick it up. I'll try and do. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, Jesus, that's a seriously heavy weight, but I got it. Oh, that 
what it's called. Yeah, I've tried all the way along these trees. They're normally good, but at the moment, everything has just been a pain. <laughs> I'm cold and that's making things really hard to do. But yeah, you're right, that's normally a spot where I normally get a few bites, to be honest. Choppers, I'm running out of light now and the spots that I normally fish. Should start to fish soon. Should start getting a few bites up there. I can see the tide's only got, what, a quarter of a metre to go to go to be up on high. So we're not too far off. And we've got a lot more water than what we had when we started, so probably worth a go. And you can start putting the lure towards where I was already on that chain, I don't be doing that. <laughs> Let me take the cold, but this is frozen. I probably should, but if I can just get that one fish, I mean, look, you look at all my videos, how often do I go home? without putting a fish on the video. Probably two out of, two, maybe three out of 150 odd. We need to find the fish. Nice, sound like Stephen's doing well. What? <laughs> That's not worth coming here for 40 minutes or so I've got left. Till it's dark. I just need to get out over there and catch fish. That's what I need to do. Now I'm getting tangled. I'm getting annoyed with myself and that because Everything is happening what wouldn't normally happen. <laughs> That's getting frustrating, I must admit. Oh. You know, got a tangling top of my rod that I can't get to. I'm trying to hang your rail over the end of the boat. <laughs> The nerve is going on.
it's going to flap all those things. That's not good. bringing me a drink is not really helping me because you're going to make me come in. If I'm going to come in, I might as well get out of the boat. <laughs> it's not really appreciate the thought, but... Then you can all pull the stuff out of it. Oh. I'm just spinning around a bit until you see me casting into this corner and stuff. Oh, really? Can this get any worse? I've now hooked three. <laughs> this is just becoming silly now. Probably should have packed up, to be honest. But... I don't know how many things I can hook in one day. and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, 
don't think there's much left of the point of the hook on this. Soon. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. <laughs> The point is not sharp, sharp, but that's enough to look a fish. Not too good, Lloyd, he's not too good. <laughs> Hooked up a couple of times and lost them. I've been caught up in an anchor on a boat down the river there. So I had to pull the whole anchor up, well, most of the anchor up to get it off. I just got stuck in the tree. <laughs> but yeah, it's not going the best. But we're still here and we're still trying and this is probably the best time of day, so... It's going to be between now and dark. Ooh. Looks better, we've got more water in here now and everything. That's looking much more like it. Can we hook one up there? Sure, yeah. I'm going to keep trying. No much to see in here. I'm trying to make you see what I'm up to. Yeah, well, 
I ain't got an hour left, Miss Waterside. Right, if they're gonna bite, they'll be biting now, I would think. It's near dusk, it's the best time of the day. If I'm gonna get a bite, I'm gonna get one. Hello. Are you froze out there? No, nah, I'm alright. Or a rod. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I might be a poacher. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> oh, 
been tied on? Yeah, it's on the outside there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I left the car running because that is boiling in there. Yeah. Chopped up on the seat. Uh, oh, that's that, mate. It's on the seat, mate. Bring it on camera. And he's going to have a flick around my rod for a minute. Everybody. Stephen down at Roxham, he's had all of a day fishing. All of a day. Lovely roach, breeze, rod. Fantastic. That'll be you soon, Lordy boy, in that fish. I don't know what I'd do if I caught one. <laughs> Coming out of that car again, that's so warm in there. <laughs> Those things I do for him, mate.
Hope you're all good people. Keep them well. It's quite cold out here. Oh really, I was just posing. <laughs> you, know what, you know what, once I turn up, the old, uh, the old light goes pear shape. <laughs> I just love being anxious and having a laugh, what's all about. people left watching then. <laughs>
Paul's warmed up a bit. Is that the better? Difference. One of the stooges is down Roxham at the moment. Take the Mickey where appropriate. Oh no idea. I don't know, I don't know how to do it. I, I see people do that. Go like this with the rod. Yeah, all different lures, all different actions. But I've seen them do it mackerel fishing now, haven't they? Yeah, preferably mackerel. Yeah, I don't know if that's what they do it or fish. That one you have to just wind slowly because the tail's wiggle. Alright. But winding there, you have to sort of pull up and down and that's jumping around. Yeah, and the top one you have to just pull up and down and that's jumping That was good, wasn't it, everyone? Andy Tigger brought me a nice hot chocolate. Lovely. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> Can't really see what you're saying until I get back in the boat, but I've got my headlamp, so we'll have a little go in the dark as well. It'd be nice if we can just get one fish, even if that's tiny.
Well, that was warm early. First you were small, that weren't that bad. I went over to Bridget and said, hello to Stephen. Yeah, he said, yeah. <laughs> I see him down now. I went, hello, Stephen. All right, mate. Who's catching fish there? Yeah, he's done well, mate. Catch some lovely fish. Some nice breeze. Yeah. in your boat, mate, take it in with you. Oh, yeah, so when you come out. Trouble when you're nervous and you can't stop and have a drink. No, I'll do that. Come back and I'll give you a rod. And I'll tell you. Oh, people, there's a bunch of fishing for you. <laughs> <laughs> Back to normal now. Yep. Yep. Back everyone, I've had a hot chocolate. Got <laughs> it? Cheers. Got a nasty cold wind now, but... We'll have a little go for a little bit longer. I've got my gear with me. So we've got lights and stuff, you can see me. I've got a headlamp. <laughs> your ropes go on there, look. You can see your battery. Yep, there's. Got it? Yep. Hello, gentlemen. Ooh, ahoy. Thank you for that. See you later. Yeah. See you, everyone. Take care. See you on, mate. Hey, so I can get one here. Cheers for that. <laughs> Thirty minutes still high. Pretty much got as much water as I'm going to get then, and I. Oh, I just got a nasty wind right on my face now, which you don't really want, but we got to face it now, and we can just try and get a fish. I mean, they should be here now. Whatever, it's not, you know. If we don't get a take now, then uh, they're not about. Or they're not feeding one of the two. Oh, right. Oh, let's get some cast in. Don't know what you can see, but hopefully you can see something. <laughs> I've got my headlamp on as well, so. I don't know if that's going to be scaring the fish or whatever I should have you the other way around and just so you've got some light, you can actually see what's going on. I can put you that way. Put you that way so you can see what's going on. Not really see much around me, but you're going to see much in the dark anyway. <laughs> this. Ooh. Let's do what we can in the dark and just see if we can just pick up that fish that we've been trying to get all this session.
appreciate everyone staying in the chat if you have. I've gone right down to, what, 18, but... Oh. We got 63 thumbs up, so that's cool. Steve's bringing his net in. I reckon he's got quite a lot by the sound of things. Everyone go over and give him a bit of support and say well done and all that sort of stuff. You're not missing too much here at the moment. <laughs> well, I'm still trying. Take one, one bite to get a hook up, one proper bite, you know. I know we've been getting a couple for throughout the day, but until I've got a feeling now we'll have a little jackpot getting the end of the lure or lower perch. It's very strange casting into areas that you can't see. <laughs> you don't want to cast into the trees and stuff. stuff now we just need the, the fish on the end now How you doing Nick? Hi casters. Just seeing who's come in, sorry about my finger being up on the screen and stuff. Don't think I've missed anyone else. That's pretty weird being out here in the pitch black. I feel like we're not going to get one, but there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> I can't see when the lure's getting close to the boat or anything like that. Or... That's better when you see with my head up. But oh, we'll get a tape like that, it's a different thing. Sort of feels like they moved out of the area, to be honest. But... Wind's trying to push us downstream now, that's the only trouble.
Really strange fishing out here in the dark. But why not? <laughs> Thirty-six pound. That's not bad, gown, is it? Can't complain about that. It's another PB. I think his best was twenty-two, wasn't it? So he should be quite happy with that. We've got weed all over the lure, which we don't want. It's come off on the way in. <laughs> Definitely trying everyone, but getting them to bite at this time of night is this time of night, but you know, in the dark, maybe fairly hard. Normally, I'd troll down the river a bit further down in the dark, but I daren't go down there at the moment because I'm running out of battery in the boat. I don't want to. Not be able to get myself back to the bank. So he's happy most likes. PB2. Yeah, oh yeah, he's done really good. One as one little fish. <laughs> Obviously, one big fish would be alright as well, but. Having a headlamp on, like this, and that is probably scaring the fish as well. But. Just thought we'd try. I think we've got a chance to have a hot chocolate and carry on for a little bit. Right in the best spot she can be in for the pike, anyway. And they're just nice there, I don't think. Corn from Audi, what about it? <laughs> Corn's corn. <laughs> Obviously, better ones give you better shaped kernels or whatever you want to call them, but to the fish, it probably tastes the same. Mr. Watson, we need to get back to our flavoured baits and stuff like that. Flavoured corns and stuff like that would be ideal, wouldn't it? Corn with a few different flavourings on would work quite nicely down there, right? You could choose to make it sweet or fishy, or you know, you could choose what you want to actually take it.
not where I'm going to show you too much in the dark, but I'm just trying to get a little bit of bonus time in, see if we can get a fish. All we need is that one proper bite, and for it to go flying round. Only be three pound, but it could also be twenty odd pounds. So. So we can get a few things happening down this way. I don't mind like where I catch one from, just need to catch one. <laughs> 66 thumbs up, appreciate that. Still got 20 people in. It's pretty cool. Oh really? <laughs> it's now raining. <laughs> or sleeting, one of the two, if I think it's rain. It's definitely gonna be one of them today, isn't it? Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> Cheers for the hot chocolate, Andy, but you didn't have to bring the rain with you. They're raining on me. Hi oh, Diana, how you doing? You have to excuse my fingers going over the screen, but it's the only way I can give you any light and you can actually see what I'm doing. And I can read you at the same time. Hey, it's drying the car, yeah. <laughs> Just want to get this one fish for everyone. And for myself as well, obviously, but... It's just proving to be one of them days today. Getting everything thrown at me. Been in the trees, I've caught anchors, I've got freezing cold and now it's raining. <laughs> if I get too heavy, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to obviously go in because the camera and stuff is all going to get wet. But, honestly, well, I guess I can part with it. You can probably see it in the light, but I'm not getting soaked. It's that sort of, you know, drizzly sort of rain. It don't soak you sort of thing. Come on, Mr. Pike, where are you?
nice tell him well done obviously i can't message him but you can <laughs> so i said well done obviously i'll speak to him later on See the toys nearly right up now. We should be getting some takes. What is going on? Not very nice, is it? Hello again, Roger. Yeah, he done good, didn't he? Andy's still here. I thought he was gone home. <laughs> we can see another car down there unless someone's watching. It's hard to see from over what the cars are. Are you still here, Andy, or has someone else pulled up? Never actually done this properly in the dark like this before. You know, planned it with lights and stuff like that. And they're starting to slightly drift down, so we'll go with that and just keep casting along like we are, sort of thing. None of that casters, yeah, exactly. That's not a problem, Roger. You wouldn't miss much at this end, apart from some nice scenery and stuff. And a bit of a chat.
I think I've had a lot of casts today. Starting to rain heavy now. Don't need that. Right, we need to we need to whip along, troll along. battery left now so we ain't going far but I'm gonna go down you can't see a thing if I do that can you we'll turn you around I'm not sure what you're seeing but hopefully you're seeing something and I'm just gonna troll just down the part where I normally get a fish Just see if we can hook up at one time, and if not, I think I'm going to head back to the car. So I can't see a finger right or anything right this minute, but I'm having to turn it around like that so I can see where I'm actually going with that and the headlamp. Just see if we can get that last take going through this bit. If not, I'm going to cruise back down the river towards the car and have fun trying to pack this all up in the pitch black. <laughs> We'll be able to troll through here this time without getting covered in weed. We should do. Can we get a last bite? That's the thing. trees where I normally get one and hope that something happens basically doing, you know, where do you can see that, I'm going to try and get you to see it, as I'm trolling along like that, <laughs> hopefully you can see what I'm looking at, you should be able to, when I've got my head like there, it's 
probably going to be a quite a cool picture in the dark like that. We're going to try and just get that last bite if possible. Without getting hooked up on all these weeds and stuff. I don't want to do that. That's for definite. She's all right, oh, she's good. Let's get it behind us then. Should be able to see the rod when I'm looking at it. No, we just got to try and. Oh, it's a pain when all these trees have to keep sticking out. <laughs> some stick out and some don't, you see, so that makes it more of a pain. See the rod just bouncing every now and again. That's when I see him weed. Hopefully, that's no weed staying on it, and we're actually going to get a take. I've had a take in the dark and landed fish in the dark before. There's no reason why we can't. Just the action of the tail sort of vibrates in the water and sends signals to the fish that there's a fish going through. Hopefully. Just need to turn you and see what you're saying. I'm just having a little cruise along. You're alright, Lodi, I'm not doing too much more, mate. Pretty dodgy me go down the middle of the river like this to be honest. <laughs> I can't see a great deal and it's raining on me. Which is not much fun. But we've got a chance of another fish and we've got to try it, haven't we? It's getting misty now as well, that's the only trouble. Which is making it even harder. So we'll just go this way for a, let's try a bit faster troll and see if something they get. Nah, it's too fast, isn't it? I would say. You never know. It's worth a go, isn't it? Just for a minute or so. This is so weird. <laughs> I wouldn't want too much in the middle of summer to be sitting in this boat and shorts and t shirt, hopefully. But when it's like this and the river gets narrower, if you're not careful, you end up with your rod going in the bank, <laughs> like I'm doing now. I don't want to hook up anything nasty. Thought we might just have that chance of getting that one fish. I can't 
can't see what people are saying, that's the trouble. these big old trees sticking right in the middle of the river here. Or I'll end up taking the whole lot in there. We just went through some weed, I would guess. Let's just bring that in and make sure we ain't got nothing on there. What is that all spoiled, is it? What we're doing, man, it'd be pointless, on <laughs> No, it's, oh yeah, we have, actually. Cool, can you... Can you hear them foxes in the background? I know some of you probably think why I change the lure, but this is the lure that normally catches me fish down here. Alright, I'm going to whip myself down the river a bit and turn round. I can't go much further because my battery's nearly totally dead on the boat. Less than 10%, and I've obviously got to get back to the car, which is a quarter of a mile down the river now. So I'm going to spin around over here. I'm going to put the rod out one more time, control it all the way back. And you never know, we might just get a take on that run in on the way back. But might see some deers and stuff. If I had more battery, I'd go around the back of the island and stuff. There's normally some deers in the field and that there come down the edge and start drinking but right we're starting to get set See what people are saying. Okay, I'll take it you're just messing around with each other, so I'll let you get on with that. <laughs> 67 likes is cool though. Especially seen I ain't had a fish yet. <laughs> but you can see I'm doing my best to try and get one. It's not like I'm just sitting on the bank and just leaving the rod in the water. I am going all over the place trying to get this fish. Oh. This will be a lot nicer to do in the summer. <laughs> It'll be a lot warmer. Well, I'm not just seeing on the rod, it's just where it's going through weed. Just hope it's not getting caught up with weed on the actual lure. Because that will spoil the presentation. So I'm not. <laughs> I don't want weed all over it. Obviously, it's not going to give us a good chance to get one. No, it's going for the weed quite nicely while it swings. Right, 
get back down and get moving again then. Quite strange not being able to see where you're going properly and watch from the bank. <laughs> I've got sort of an outline, I can see this side obviously with the light, but I can't see behind me. So I have to keep looking. <laughs> it's definitely different. It'd just be great if I can just go once. <laughs> It's getting so foggy I'm struggling to see. <laughs> it's like a foggy mist sort of come in. It's quite strange. I'm not scared of being out on the boat, I quite like being out on the boat. If it was warm I wouldn't be bothered whatsoever, but I've got to be careful obviously because if I go in the water I'd be pretty cold pretty quick. I'm already cold obviously sitting in the boat, so. Got to be sensible about it. Well, so I think I'm cruising back down to the car now. I ain't got enough power on the boat now to do much more anyway. I could more up, but I don't think it's worthwhile to be honest. Because they just don't seem to be out there today. Right, I'm getting pretty wet now, so it's becoming silly now. <laughs> Cold and wet. And it's obviously, I don't know whether you can see it in the picture, but See a form of rain now. I can't even see where I'm going now. We've got the light on like that. <laughs> I just thought I'd have one more go. You never know, we might have got one on the way in. We're not bad yet, but we will be in the next few minutes.
Yeah, I've certainly tried, Jay. <laughs> I couldn't try any harder. But obviously it's getting dangerous now, so I'm going to go back towards the car. But I say, if I did go in, I don't think I would, but if I did, I'd be in big trouble because I'm pretty cold. And I'd be absolutely freezing then. And now I'm getting rained on, so I don't want to mess up the old filming equipment. So I'm going to head towards, well I am heading towards the car now. I appreciate people coming in and stopping in with me, even though I haven't had any fish. I do my best to have a little chat with you and that and take you around places. Obviously I can't show you too much in the dark, but... Yeah, I'm now heading back to the car. Them lights you can see in the distance is where my car is. I don't think a life jacket would help me too much at the moment because, uh, well, it might help me float, but otherwise, oh, be, oh, that'd be crazy. It'd be so cold, that'd be hard to swim to the edge. A lot of people still driving in and out. I don't know if they're just wondering what I'm doing because I'm all lit up in a boat out in the water. But, yeah, I've got a ton of weed on the lure. So it's not fishing properly. I wish I had a couple of banks. It spoiled my fishing. <laughs> but they've got to cut the bushes and stuff back, haven't they? I'm sure the fish will return within a, in a couple of weeks' time. Let's get it back out for the last bit of the trip. The headlights down near my car. Wrong way. <laughs> I'll do a lap through the good area just in case it's definitely getting to that point where I can't see a great deal Are you still here? I thought you gone. No, I'm waiting for you to get out. Just go through here and I'll come in. Yeah, you're all right, mate. Can't let your ball apart. <laughs> I didn't realise that everybody, Andy Tiggers actually stayed down here. <laughs> yeah, cheers Mick for coming in. Cheers everybody coming in. Hi Stephen mate, sound like you had a hell of a session. I look forward to sitting back and watching that later on, the second half. Well done on the PBs and stuff. I've had a few little takes, but I think they were perch and not pike. If they were pike then they weren't taking it properly. But I've done my best and that's all I can do. But it sounds like you've had a hell of a day and I'm pleased for you, mate. Well done. No problem, Nick. How you doing? Oh, 
but it's cold, I can tell you that much. I know I do a lot of sea fishing, but when you're sitting in the boat and you're not moving around much, it don't help your blood circulate around your body, whereas if you're sea fishing, you'd be walking up and down the beach to cast in, cast in and stuff, and that warm you back up. Or I'd be able to whack a cooker on that I'd make me hot chocolate and stuff with, and that sort of thing. Oh, I had a good old go, Kev. I've had a good old go. If this was summer and it was warmer, I wouldn't give up. As you all know me, I don't give up. I'll do the hours until I find them fish. 112 fish, oh, well done, nice one. That's 112 more than what I've had today. <laughs> They're going back in towards the car. 30 pound of fish, nice. Nice PB, isn't it? I think you're just going to keep eating them PBs as the summer comes on. And when we go out after them big bream in the summer and stuff, I think we're going to have a couple hundred pound of bream between us. You know, in one session. So there's plenty of good fun sessions to come. Don't get piles. <laughs> I'm sitting on a soft carp chair. That's quite comfortable. It's just not moving around. That's the trouble. Other people setting up now. Oh, they're going down there for the bream, aren't they? That's why. Whew, I've got to admit defeat on this one. I just can't do anymore. It's too cold to stay out with the rain and the nasty wind I've got. As you can probably see in the thing, I can hardly see what I'm doing. I can see it around the boat and stuff, but I can't show you anything, which is sort of pointless. So what I'll do is I'll pull up and I'll chuck you in the old screen. But if you don't want to hang around, that's not a problem. I'm only going to be taking the boat out of the water and stuff. And... Oi, oi, Captain. Hello. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> Anywhere there. <laughs> one boat or the car or a boat. Could not find that fish. <laughs> no, you give it a good go, mate, didn't you? Yeah, I couldn't try any harder. No, <laughs> give it a good go. Got it, mate. Yeah, go on. Carry on. Oh, no. We've got to let us get all out of here anyway, so. Yeah, I'm going to stick a phone in the car so they can actually see something that's going yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Still there, everyone. I'm just putting you in the going on. You can probably see the rain now. Could have done without that. Oh. I'm about to get the boat out and whack on the roof. I appreciate everyone staying in with me and having a bit of fun. No rain there, no. It's not pouring, that's just like, well, you can see it's drizzling away and it's just spoiling it.
seat down there, mate. Definitely a cold one, everyone. Still got 22 people there. Whoa. Appreciate you all still holding on, everyone. Thanks very much. Oh, I'm absolutely freezing. I'm shaking. <laughs> but hopefully, I can warm up a bit now. Can't even talk. I'm so cold. I am. I'm touching the boat now. It's all obviously soaking wet, which makes it 10 times colder. Oh. That's the coldest one I've had for a long time. I remember being out in the snow and stuff in minus six. I don't want as cold as that. Oh. What we got? Minus five, I'm saying I'm engaged, but I'm pretty sure it's colder than that. Minus five? No. <laughs> minus half a degree. <laughs> minus five, cool. Oh no, minus one, that's moving. That'll get the degrees right in a minute. <laughs> oh, I can hardly feel my hands to drive. But I really appreciate everyone staying in with me. Sorry I didn't get a fish. I've done my best. Put in as much effort as I possibly could. I was casting absolutely everywhere, all the way around the swim, on all sorts of stuff. But sometimes you just can't get one they're just not there God. 
I am honestly struggling to talk. <laughs> it's how cold I am. But within an hour or so, I should be able to start warming up again. Get my bones going. Get a nice hot drink in me when I get home. Should be good. No, the boat's on the roof of the car. This is just my fishing and work car. And that's literally what I use it for. Just towing stuff, putting boats on the roof, going fishing. That's what it does and it does it well. It's done 225,000 miles and that still ticks along like there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. As long as you service them and drive them right, look after them, they'll just keep going. Oh. Hope I've got a nice warm dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna leave all my gills in here and obviously I'll put the boat away. Just a bus and give me a lot of room. That was fun. <laughs> Oh, as you can see, it's raining. Maggie D's, I ain't got any of them on the way home. <laughs> That's all company names and stuff where I am at the moment. I'm not near any big towns or anything. There's no McDonald's or anything like that around there. I can find a nice warm meal indoors. Oh. <laughs> Feel like I'm drawing. Just gripping the steering wheel is hurt. <laughs> no wife's so cold. Thursday is ah, oh, me and tongue. I'll go and talk now. <laughs> I think Thursday is meant to be a nice day. It's a nice day, but a warmer day than what we've got at the moment. Salad. I ain't gonna warm me up much, Roger. <laughs> I'll be quite happy to have some salad. With a bit of steak or something as well. <laughs> or we're in a burger. Oh. There you go, spaghetti bolognese I've got. That'll do, that'll warm me up. Didn't get anything, Richard. I tried pretty hard. We carried on even in the dark. Going up and down the river in the pitch black, but still couldn't get anything. It was really strange because I was going up and down. And then I started pouring rain on me as well. It's still raining now. But yeah, so I've got rain got the mist and all that was coming in and it's absolutely freezing anyway. So we've got it all at once, not nice. <laughs> but I've done my best, that's all I can do. Sometimes it's not good enough. before I'm quite disappointed. I don't like to do a live like that and not catch any fish. But I couldn't do any more. 
I heard Stephen, I've been listening, I've been asking people about you all day and they've been telling me what you've been catching. Sounds like you're doing really good. I'll catch up with it in a little bit when I get in. Have a look at your net and the fishing net you caught. I'm sure you'll send me some photos. Yeah, it sounds like you're doing really good. Hundred and twelve fish, let's get in it. <laughs> Think how many times we've been down there now and had over a hundred fish. It's crazy, isn't it? Nine thumbs up. It's not bad going, is it? Can't complain about that. Still got 16 people in with me, which I appreciate. Saying I'm only driving home. I'm just struggling to talk to you because I can't feel my toes and hands and stuff like that. <laughs> Take me absolutely hours to warm back up. I'm gonna have to say goodbye, everyone, because I keep starting to lose signal. I can't really go much further, so appreciate you all coming in. Thanks very, very much, and I'll hopefully see you all later on in the chat or something like that once I warmed up a bit. 